to land in the world's most dangerous airport. And I tell you, the flight's pretty scary. The heart rate's going, and not because we've trained well. Thanks to these yaks. Ah, oh, don't stop. Yak, take two. After a beautiful seven hour trek through jungles. No, 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 I don't want to say jungles. All right, today we've arrived at Everest Base. Oh, no, it's not Everest Base Camp. We're about 6,150 meters. How high is it? 5,850. 5,850. 5,9. 5,9. Huge, gigantic ice cliff. It's the only way to describe it. What I do is I talk and then I'll move around, follow me with the camera. It's a problem free philosophy. No funny faces behind me. Why don't you meet the tent mates? God. Oh, look at camera shy. Peace and love. Mm. Say. Danny Bad. Yeah. All right, so. The day starts off at base camp with the guys waking us up with a nice cup of tea. Now we even get hot water showers at base camp. I'll be a new man in about five minutes. Akuna Matata. Ain't no passing phrase. Now after five days on a mountain, that feels incredible. So this is the Kumbu Icefall. And it's the only thing that stands in between base camp and camp one. It's 500 meter vertical gain and it's real dangerous this year. 